Good morning, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, 1114 a.m. Mountain Time on October 11th, 2017, Wednesday, just 12 hours before 2012, TC4 makes close approach to Antarctica with all the updates. Now, the updates came out of the Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex called Goldstone Observatory. I'll leave you links to this. There was a press release today, and here is the latest updates, including Solution 54, which is the newest data on the distance and the magnitude. Now, they're saying this thing is 20 meters, plus or minus 2 to 15 meters. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so you can read the press release here on the different solutions and the flybys. And I click down here. Here's uh, There is another link down here to the actual press release that you can click on. So I'll leave you that. And you can get familiar with it. But what I have is the uh, also the small recovery asteroid exercise press release from NASA. You can read this. Um, it was just recently respotted by a very large telescope using one of four 8.2 meter telescopes on the 22nd of July and the 5th of August of 2017. And the data, and this is the data coming out. So I'm going to show, we'll look at the video of this actual object. And I'll let this run. Here it is. And you can see it wobbling. And that's the flashing of intensity. There's 2012 TC4 just the other day. This is on the 11th. So it's close enough to see, and there's and Goldstone is watching it. What they're watching it for is anyone's guess. The new calculations are bring it even closer, and we'll cover that in a few seconds. I'll just let you get a good watch of this wobbler here. It's amazing that we can actually see such a small thing so far away. And what they do talk about is the fact that if we didn't see this before, there'd be no way we'd know this is coming. So that's something to think about. The only reason we can locate this object is we have an idea where it is and we can spot it now. Pretty interesting. So here's from JPL. And this is the newest press release. And it's putting it at 26,000 miles. So it went from one eighth to one tenth in just a week. And it's estimated at 50 to 100 feet here. So I'll leave you links to this. Uh, the original calculation was 0 0.0035 astro uh, astronomical units away, which is 31,000. And that has changed now to 26,000. And that is much closer, folks. If you don't know, I'll leave you links to the other two videos on this topic, TC4. If it's the first time watching, you can take a look at those. And what I'll leave you with, we'll go back here and just do this run, we'll run by one more time. It's right in the middle here. And that is 2012 TC4, filmed yesterday by Goldstone. So they have an eye on it, folks. Just an update. I'll let this run one more time, guys, and then uh, that'll be the end of the video. There it is up here. Keep an eye on it. Hope you got something out of the video. The close approach is tonight, 1045 Pacific time over Antarctica. Tonight, the 11th. Close approach is at 1045 Pacific daylight time over Antarctica, which puts the moon on the other side. So we don't have to worry about this hitting the moon, just maybe potentially some satellites. So in North America, you could stay up late because this is coming by at 1045 Pacific time this evening in 12 hours, under 12 hours. It has been uh, recalculated and it is coming early. They shaved a few hours off of this baby in the last few days with the new calculations. And it will be here tonight at 1045 p.m. Pacific daylight time over Antarctica. And the moon will be rising over the East Coast at that time of North America. So the moon will be on the other side of the planet, so to speak. This is going to be below the planet. And that's at 1045 Pacific time tonight, the 11th of October over Antarctica. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Be safe today.